This is the kind of project that only really comes along once in a century. The Grand Paris Express. It's Europe's largest infrastructure scheme, a $37 billion rail line carved out beneath the French capital and stretching over 200 kilometers. The numbers are eye-watering. There'll be 68 new stations, four brand new automatic metro routes, the expansion of two existing lines on the network, three million passengers transported every day, and journey times cut by as much as half an hour. The Pièce de Résistance is a mammoth 76-kilometer ring that'll connect the city's outer suburbs for the first time. At its biggest peak to date, 100-meter-long tunnel boring machines were pushing forward by 12 meters a day. The project is immense in every sense of that word, and is about to radically transform Paris. Paris is a city of revolution, a city built on change. It's safe to say that France's capital has gone through more than its fair share of historic, fundamental transformations over the centuries. Between 1853 and 1870, Napoleon III famously demolished the city's medieval neighbourhoods to make way for the grand boulevards we know and love today. This new railway is kind of on a par with that. Welcome to the next iteration of Paris. So right now, Paris's metro only really serves the city's very centre, and that's a problem. Paris isn't just its 20 arrondissements, it's a sprawling megacity that's home to an estimated 7.2 million people. Now, public transport, especially the metro service, has the ability to unlock the potential of disconnected areas and create new destinations. In much the same way that London did with its famous tube, and like China is doing now with multiple lines uniting areas around cities like Shanghai and Beijing. The most impressive feature of Paris's rail overhaul directly addresses this centrality. Line 15 is a 76km circular route that will connect the southern and eastern suburbs with Saint-Denis in the north and the business district at La de France in the west. It's essentially a giant loop that goes around the outskirts of the city. Instead of only being able to travel in and out of the middle, you'll soon be able to journey between the suburbs too, and that's expected to boost regeneration and the economy. Paris will transform from a city with one centre to a city with multiple centres. A multipolar metropolis, democratisation through infrastructure, a revolution through trains. Plans for this mega-development stretch way back to 2007, but construction of the new lines began in June 2015 and is being carried out in several phases right up to 2030. Fully automated driverless trains will run on the new network at an average speed of 60 kilometers an hour, nearly double that of the current Paris Metro. A move that could go a long way to solving the driver shortages experienced on some lines. Now, an incredible 75% of the network is going to run underground in two-lane subway tunnels. And that's meant an immense tunnel boring operation. Out of sight, up to 16 metres beneath the feet of Parisians, 100 metre long tunnel boring machines are creating tunnels at a rate of 10 to 12 metres a day, which is about 3 kilometres a year. To get the TBMs to their boring depth, they're first lowered in pieces down shafts along the route of the tunnel. Once on site, these massive machines are then fully assembled directly below the streets of Paris. The TBMs then excavate, support and line the tunnels with concrete as they move forward, leaving behind a safely completed tunnel ready for the mechanical, electrical and computer systems to be installed. When construction works first peaked in 2020, work on all four lines plus the Line 14 extensions was all taking place simultaneously. While the metro tunnels of the early 1900s sat just 10 metres or so below ground, the tunnels for the Grand Paris Express sit 30 to 40 metres beneath the city, avoiding more than 100 years worth of underground utility infrastructure. The new stations add yet another level of complexity. First, a reinforced waterproof wall is built around the roughly 9,000 square meter sites. That creates a 60 meter drop box for work to take place before excavation. 
60% of the civil engineering work for the stations is then completed before the giant TBMs worm their way to the site and eat through the solid rock. Following the excavation, internal structures are then built, including multiple levels, mezzanines, platforms and a roof slab. The parts of the station you actually experience as a passenger. C'est un des plus grands projets euh, urbains d'Europe et aujourd'hui sur la ville de Paris, il n'y a eu aucun chantier de transport qui n'a été aussi euh, important dans la ville. Donc moi je suis dessinateur projeteur, euh, je travaille euh, pour Bouygues euh, depuis deux ans maintenant et euh, je fais essentiellement euh, des plans d'armature. As you can probably imagine, it's pretty crucial for every part of this enormous operation to run cohesively and on time. And software from today's video sponsor Trimble has been an essential part of making that happen. Field surveys which monitor construction progress and provide reference points to guide the team were conducted using Trimble Access software, Trimble S7 Total Stations and the Trimble TS-C7 controller. The Tunnels module for Trimble Access software includes a solution specifically designed for automatically measuring and analysing the various points on the inside of the tunnel rings. That kind of data is essential to the teams building this project. Trimble has already helped ensure faster timelines and richer data, and its tech is being deployed at several of the Grand Paris Express sites. Trimble, avec, avec son logiciel Tecla, c'est les premiers sur le marché si on veut vraiment renseigner de la data au, dans les armatures, c'est-à-dire avoir des attributs sur chaque armature. Et euh, pour ça, on, si on, on doit constituer, on doit travailler sur, enfin, concevoir un chantier avec beaucoup de data et mettre énormément de renseignements de manière à pouvoir exporter les maquettes et qu'après, il y ait une, une collaboration très fluide entre acteurs euh, du projet, Trimble a vraiment euh, une bonne une, une capacité très intéressante dans la gestion justement de ce, de ce processus-là. Donc euh, aujourd'hui, on est amené à faire plus en plus de BIM, à partager énormément d'informations via la maquette numérique, via la data. Et sur ce projet, euh, Trimble a été en capacité en fait de nous offrir euh, euh, ben, beaucoup de les outils nécessaires pour pouvoir réaliser ce projet. Today, the mega project stands more than 30% complete. While initial hopes had this entire thing wrapping up before the 2024 Olympics, a more realistic aim has since been adopted. Now, just the first bit, which includes the extension to Line 14, is going to be open in time for the Games helping ease the burden of the anticipated 16 million tourists descending on Paris for the Olympics. The past few years have seen Paris go to extraordinary pains to revitalize itself as one of Europe's most sustainable cities. And the new metro plays into the messaging for the 2024 Games extremely well. The Green Games for a greener city. By 2030, Paris aims to be 50% green spaces, an enormous leap from the 9.5% it currently has. And the French government has set itself the goal of cutting carbon emissions by 27.6 million tonnes by 2050. It's doing that in part by returning roads to the people and taking cars off the streets. The Grand Paris Express will help remove the need for 150,000 vehicles, gradually helping the city cut its carbon footprint in time. With great swathes of this urban area becoming reachable on public transports, the government is hoping the benefits of a cheap and efficient metro will far outweigh the costly and frustrating process of driving through the city in rush hour. Paris is a city of revolutions, and this railway is its next revolutionary act. It's more than just a metro line, it's an enormous once-in-a-century infrastructure megaproject that's using the power of construction to open up the French capital like never before. This video was made possible by Trimble. You can learn more about this and the other topics on our channel over on the World's Best Construction Podcast, available now wherever you get your podcasts. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to dig deeper into the definitive video channel for construction, make sure you subscribe to the B1M.